Welcome to Ring Theory. For some reason, there are people in this universe who don't watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy during Christmas. Or worse, even class it as a Christmas movie. In this video, I'll be listing the only seven reasons you need to convince you why it definitely counts as a Christmas film and why you should be watching it this Christmas. Number one, the films were released in December. What we learn from films like Die Hard is that to qualify as a Christmas movie, you just need to be somehow adjacent to Christmas. Every single theatrical release of the original trilogy, and even the Hobbit trilogy, were released in the lead up to Christmas. This means that there are a huge number of people who have memories of going to the cinema to see them for the first time in the lead up to Christmas, and therefore, for the rest of their lives, they'll subconsciously relate it to the Christmas period. As well as this, if you are the type of person who celebrates important anniversary milestones of the films and have watch parties, it means you'll always be doing that in December. Number two, there are Merry Songs. Or more accurately, Merry and Pippin Songs. A staple of a great Christmas movie is carols or people getting together to have a good sing song. The few times we get to see the Hobbits in their most natural of habitats, the pub, gives us an insight into just how jolly they can get. If there was Christmas in Middle Earth, they would do it right. Number three, The Fellowship left Rivendell on the 25th of December. Of course, this isn't specifically mentioned in the movies, but it's confirmed in the appendices that Frodo and the Fellowship set out on their quest to Mordor on December the 25th. This is a common Lord of the Rings quiz question and a great argument for you to use if eyebrows are raised when you try to put on your extended editions over the holidays. How can it not be a Christmas movie when the main quest sets out on Christmas Day? Number four, there is snow. Yes, I know it may seem like I'm scraping the bottle of the barrel already, but in my research for this video, it's a common theme that a lot of people value in their Christmas films. We get some amazing wide shots of snowy mountaintops over the three films, as well as the great snowy scene where Saruman brings down the mountain whilst the Fellowship are trying to pass over Caradhras. In this scene, we get arguably the best shot of the trilogy, with Gimli's snowy face emerging after being completely covered. 100% Christmas vibes. Number five, gift giving. This is arguably the underlying theme of the entire story. Whilst in no way am I comparing Sauron to Santa, you can't deny he was quite generous with his rings. Seven to the dwarves, three to the elves, and nine rings gifted to the race of men. There's never been a Christmas where I've bought 19 pieces of jewelry, so this is extremely generous. And although it turns out he is the epitome of giving to receive, you can't deny he gave out a lot of gifts. And if we forget the reason he's giving them, that is darn Christmassy of him. Number six, there are literally elves. Of course, not Christmas elves, but badass, mimikill slaying immortal elves. I don't see any actual elves in Love Actually or Home Alone. Tolkien created an entire fictional world with elves being an important cog in that world for many ages. This reason on its own makes Lord of the Rings much more Christmassy than many other movies that find themselves on Christmas movie lists. Number seven, sacrifice and reincarnation. On a slightly more serious one to end this list, there are clear parallels between Jesus and Gandalf after his sacrifice in the first film. Having a clear parallel to Christ is something most Christmas films, in air quotes, forget, even though it's the entire reason for Christmas. He sacrifices himself to allow the Fellowship to escape, only in the next film to be sent back until my task is done. And that is a direct quote taken from Jesus. Prove me wrong. So, that's my list. If you've come to the conclusion that I'm just giving myself excuses to watch the films over Christmas, then you couldn't be more wrong. I'm actually giving you the excuses you need to convince family members to watch it with you. If you can think of any I've missed, please let me know in the comments below and get creative. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. 
On this channel, I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy, and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button.